as I always say, you can never have too many calculators. I purchased a lot of uh, five different calculators on eBay. Uh, they were being listed uh, for parts, uh, even though uh, most of them seem to be working just fine from the pictures that I saw. Okay, so I already went ahead and uh, kind of opened the box, but I haven't seen any of the calculators just yet. So there's a scientific one. <laughs> which is actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. <laughs> and it is a Casio. This is really tiny. Oh wow, and uh, it works uh, just fine. So yeah, so the guy was selling these for parts. I don't know why, but uh, you know, I'm not complaining. And I really haven't paid much for these. I only paid uh, uh, after tax, it was free shipping as well. I only spent uh, like $32, so that was a steal. So even if I can uh, manage to maybe get uh, two working or three, then uh, I already got my money worth. So this is the first time I, uh, or should I say this is my first 83. Believe it or not, I didn't have any, uh, uh, I don't think I, I have any uh, non-computer algebra system calculator in my collection. Everything is just cast, you know. Okay, so I kind of want to reuse this just in case I I ship something. But, uh, and uh, wow, I'm actually really surprised because these seems these seem to be in uh, almost excellent condition. Okay, and this is uh, the eighty nine which is uh, the most powerful here in this lot. And uh, yeah, the rest is this uh, 83. So we have one 83, two 83 pluses, I think. Two 83 pluses, one 89, and uh, a Casio one, which you can see a scientific. He has uh, the solar panel here. So that one seems to be working just fine. <laughs> wow, I'm actually surprised on, uh, on how uh, good the key is on this field. The keys are excellent, man. I love it. Wow. And it's really small, you know? I don't have huge end by any means but, uh, compared to a TI-89. So this is what you can expect. And it's really thin too. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is really nice. He has uh, the sound functions, you know? Wow, it's really nice. Okay, let's set that one aside. And I always like to uh, get the batteries from uh, a working calculator because sometimes battery may just uh, come dead on arrival. That's why I never use a brand new set of batteries uh, to try uh, my calculators. Okay. So these came uh, from this 89, which I know uh, works just fine. Okay, so let's try with the 83, see if I will get any luck. Okay, I kind of want to mention that uh, in one picture, uh, there was a calculator with a dark screen, so the screen could be bad, or maybe if uh, we get lucky, after adjusting uh, the contrast, it's going to work. Okay, so this one is does not seem to be working at all. Oh, never mind then. Well, it is working after all. Let's see. So I don't really know how this works. <laughs> I've never had a 83 before, so the screen seems a little bit slanted. I don't know if that is normal, but I can't seem to uh, clear the stuff here. I don't know if uh, that's because the keys aren't working. Yeah, I think some of the keys might be bad on this 83. Let me see if I can adjust the contrast. Okay, the contrast works. And for some reason, I can't seem to, let's see. Yeah, so the clear button is not working. That is not a good sign. That is definitely not a good sign because if uh, there is corrosion on some of the keys or, you know, uh, I don't know. But uh, anyways, so I know the keys on this one is not working. So I'm just going to pause the video, uh, get inside of it, and I'll try to see if I can uh, figure the, pro the problem out. So I've done a bunch of uh, uh, disassembly of... Uh, these calculators, but I've never been inside the 83. And uh, okay, so it is, it seems to be slightly different from uh, the other ones I've been to. 
because this one only has two visible screws here and it should be a Torx number six. Okay, so this one seems to be just a Philips, regular Philips, but maybe Philips number zero. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video and uh, get inside of the calculator, see if I can fix it. Okay, so I just opened it up. So all you needed to remove were really these two screws here and uh, the screw for the backup battery as well. And uh, in order to do that, I just use a, a double zero Philips uh, driver. And uh, it was rel uh, relatively uh, easier to take apart. So there seems to be some kind of corrosion going on here. And uh, yeah, so once you are inside, it's pretty much uh, identical to the TI-73 Explorer that I took apart uh, several, a couple of weeks ago. So I'm gonna remove a uh, diesel screw here. I believe it's a uh, total of six, one, two. And if you cover this up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well, seven, eight, I'm gonna have to take this apart as well so yeah it's not a big deal so I'm gonna just, just gonna remove those okay I got all the screws out so I'm just gonna lift this up gently and uh, make sure you are keeping the calculator uh, face down so you don't lose these keys okay so I'm gonna put this aside because I don't want to spill it. okay so I'm gonna return it I'm pretty sure if I lift this up there's probably going to be some corrosion if not then uh, that's a good sign just like I thought, so there is uh this is heavily corroded here. And if I flipped it over, there are some corrosion here as well. So at this point, the only options I have left really is uh to clean to clean this up with the water and soap. Okay, so I'm gonna I've done this in some of my previous videos, so you can uh, go back and see how I did that. I believe it was uh, a video about a TI-83. Okay. And the title of the video was, uh, yes, I washed my calculators, something like that. So I'm going to wash this one as well, get rid of the corrosion, put it outside uh, under the sun, and see if uh, that's going to make anything different. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to be testing uh, I'll be testing the second model, the second calculator. I really hope this works because I'm actually really liking this uh, calculator on you know, the transparent screen. Okay, nothing's going on. Let's press the on key. Okay, so this is the one that had uh, a dark screen, and uh, I'm gonna just I'm, I'm gonna hope for the best. Hold this and go up. Oh, I think it's going down. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, so I think this is how you adjust the, the brightness though. So you hold the second key, get it up and down. Okay, so maybe I'm doing this wrong. Okay, let's see. Let's try it again. Okay. So the buttons on this one may not be working either. So that is not good. Uh, let me try something else. Let's see. Try this little trick. This is not really common uh, for the uh, keys to start working on Texas Instrument calculators. I've only seen it once. That was the TI-89 Titanium. But this is not common at all. so I really can't remember how to adjust the brightness but uh, let's see hold this okay, hold it and keep
think uh, let's try it again okay so i'm gonna have to take this one apart as well so this one is pretty much the same way um this is how you would take uh this is how you would uh, take uh, the 89 uh, um the same way so you don't need to remove the batteries it's not required so i'm gonna use uh, the screws right here okay i removed five screws but the last one for some reason doesn't want to come out so i'm gonna try to work my way around it gently uh, i guess i'm just gonna do this live so just work your way around it gently and uh press it up a little bit just up a little bit or push it down you know depending on how you look at it That was fairly easy. I just like the 89. Okay. So it looks like someone has been inside of this already, which is never a good sign. Or uh, could I be wrong? Because you see these, this seems to be broken, you know. You know, this part definitely seems I don't know if it looks broken it look it kind of looks even though I don't know I could be wrong anyways uh, I'm not seeing any corrosion just yet so I'm not sure why this one wouldn't work though this bed just uh, you know what I'm just gonna set this aside okay I'm, I'm gonna I'm just gonna test all the calculators to see if uh, if they work first so so far we haven't been lucky but, uh, well it is what it is i knew i was taking a, a risk when i purchased them so it's fine okay so this one seems to be quite nice. Okay, so that's this is how you adjust the brightness. Press this key once, and when it's over here, it's like this. Then you can press second and go down. at least i'm lucky with this one so that's always a good sign one is working so far that is not bad at all but i'm still gonna open this up and see if uh, there is any corrosion so i can prevent any uh, disaster from happening oh wow would you look at that <laughs> so the this uh, 83 plus had uh, two different backup battery two different backup batteries that is really nice this is my first time seeing a calculator with uh, two different backup battery okay so <laughs> that's always good to see so again uh, this should be fairly easy okay and uh, push it up you know push this out down like that as you work your way around it and uh, should head a one pop that's it okay so this seems dirty okay so I'm gonna clean this up definitely gonna clean this up Okay, so it's the same, should be the same as the others. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna remove these first. And lift, uh, lift it up from here. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I'm gonna pause and remove the screws. Okay, now let's see what's going on. Okay, so this one you need to have uh, the calculator face down because you don't wanna lose these keys. They come off very easily. this to the side and examine the components this is already dirty too okay no crazy thing going on
Well, this one seems to be clean for the most part, but I'm still gonna clean it up a little bit. Now with water is done. So yeah, you gotta be careful with these components because if you keep dropping the calculator, then uh, this uh, might break over time. Okay. So not much going on here. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. You know, just uh, clean this component and put it back together. And uh, <clears throat> since I know that one is working, I'm just gonna put it aside and uh, work on the last one. See uh, what's up with that. And by the time I finish with that one, uh, the first one that I took apart should be should be ready. At least I would hope so. Okay. Did I do something wrong? No sign of life, so let's take it apart anyways. Oh. Ah, this is not good. This is pretty bad. This is not supposed to have a uh, Phillips screws up top here. So this calculator has been inside. Somebody, someone has been inside of this calculator. As you can see, it is, uh, yeah, this is definitely not good. And the display also has some dark mark. So. And some of the keys are sticky as well. Or at least there is no a dead pixel so that is something good that came out of it at least okay and some of the keys are sticky as well so i'm gonna take this apart definitely gonna take this apart and uh see if i can do anything about it And these screws were not well tight, so I don't even know how, <laughs> what did to it. I have no idea. Yeah, this is heavily corroded, so that's probably why it wouldn't turn on for the, for the first time. So I'm going to have to watch this one as well. You see this terminal? I'm definitely going to have to watch that. I just hope uh, I just hope this is the only thing wrong with it. Yep. So this thing was missing a lot of screws. <laughs> it was pretty much missing all the screws, really. Wow. So it was missing five screws from or six screws, and there is some screw that the guy lost in here. So he definitely took took it apart and didn't know how to put it back together. Some of the keys since some of the keys are sticky i'm gonna be washing the keys and uh 
Yep, you see how dirty this is? So this probably spilled some water or some coffee. Can't quite smell it, but it seems like coffee. Cause it's kind of sticky. And uh, some corrosion we're forming over here. That is never good. Okay. So I'm gonna pause the video, wash this, put it under the sun. It's gonna take a long time because I'm gonna have to wash the whole thing. This, the keys and everything. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the first one that I uh, washed. The, the, this is the 83, regular 83. Uh, it's been under the sun for about 20 minutes. So let's see. Let's put it back together and uh, hope for the best. have it right here I know my desk is a mess but I, I can figure it out no. okay so I'm just going to uh, I'm not gonna fully close it uh, I need this one first uh, it's kind of dirty I should have washed this one too but uh, I just want to see if it works then if it works I'm gonna take it uh, take it out again and uh, wa wash it some more Does this even belong to this 83? It seems to fit though. Let's see. Maybe not. Yeah, this is the right one. Oh, this is corrosion right here. That's not good. That's not never good. So just to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna wash this up a little bit. Okay, time to get busy. I'm just gonna add enough screw for the calculator not to uh, come right out. So I'm gonna put uh, these display screws. So gonna put uh let's see some over here. I'm gonna put one at the bottom as well. Okay, so I hope this, uh, I'm really uh, hoping this is going to work. Um, yep, yeah. so, I guess we're just gonna put it back together and hope. Okay, so, yeah, let's see. Yeah, no luck. So this is, uh, there's nothing I can do about this. I can try to trace this uh, clear key, see uh, uh, what is coming from exactly, but nah, that's not, I don't think this can be fixed, you know. And it sucks because all the other keys uh, work just fine. It's just uh, the clear key, which is uh, really important. Okay, so I guess it's just gonna go to waste. I guess I can still use it. Uh, the, Chassis seems to be in perfect condition, so I can always uh, use the chassis, uh, the casing, or even the keys. You know, I can always use the keys, but uh, yeah, it's a shame, but it happens. When it happens, it happens. It is what it is. You can't really do much about it. This is where the corrosion was at, apparently. And uh, yeah, it's too, uh, too bad. But yeah, <laughs> eh, it is what it is. So I'm gonna. I guess I'm just gonna, I don't even need to take it apart. I'm just gonna, when I have a broken calculator, what I like to do is I just like to put uh, the screws in the battery compartment and close it. 
because I can always reuse it for something else. And uh, I can use these screws actually for the TI-89 uh, that was missing some of the screws, so I can just use the screws for that. So I'm gonna keep the screws here. And uh, that should do it, I think. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna need a. Uh, yeah, that should do it. Okay. So, as far as uh, the one that wouldn't, uh, uh, that I could not adjust the brightness of, I can't do anything about that either because if you notice, if you, if it pay close attention. Uh, when the screen was dark, even uh, when the screen was dark on this one, I could still uh, manage to, uh, you know, to see uh, the cursor blinking, but you don't see that here at all. So this one is probably just gonna be uh, for parts. But so far, uh, 183 plus worked just fine, and the 89 seems to be working just fine as well. So I got two calculator working uh, for 32 dollars. That is not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Uh, plus this one as well. So this is a really nice one. So yeah. If you have any questions, just make sure to put in the comment section. This video is uh, is too long already. <laughs>